Don't sleep over here. I'm not paying you to sleep yet. Maybe Father's put it in the back. I'll wake up there. Put it in the back. I'll wake up. Come on, man, Moses. Make it fast, man. Shock statistics on the housing position for Indians and Colors in the Johannesburg area have revealed that the Department of Community Development provided homes for only 947 Indian families last year, out of a waiting list of 5,812. Of these, 1,533 have been waiting longer than five years for a home. Madam, why big letters? Why all these you bring this small thing? They're no good. Everybody's squeezing them. They're all bruised. 30 cents, madam. The best! No use buying it you these days. I'd rather buy it at the supermarket. The housing crisis for Africans... Ma! But it has passed my car. The housing crisis for African, Indian and colored arises from a policy which denies people available housing purely on an inhumane basis of skin color.
For Mrs. Williams, on the book. Three lemons, one garlic, and give me nice tomatoes. Ten cents for the apple. Put it on the book. She must pay how. Can't me? Bye bye, Moses. That's good, Nene. Six o'clock. I see that they gave you three months to get out. But I was born here. MKK, Manajanaza Lati Kavele. You didn't apply for a house in Indonesia. We've got no money to buy a house. Karbani who Karbana. I don't know what we're going to do. They told us to go in seven days. these papers and return them. Don't worry. We'll take care of your father. We'll find something. A girls at work did a test today, Ma. A test? You hang your wedding ring by a piece of cotton over your stomach. Mm -hmm. If the ring turns one way, it's going to be a boy. <laughs> the other way, it's a girl. <laughs> you believe that? That's a little fun. <laughs> What is the end? Oh boy! Oh, how hope it will be anyway. Us girls, we're just saying at lunchtime, the men have the best of it. Even these days, we have to observe all the customs. We're not even allowed in bed with them. Oh, look at that. It's going to collapse. It must be a long time since I walked along here. Someone used to store bananas there when I was at school. Look the old shed, why don't they pull it down? Don't you know what it is? Seventy-six years ago, when Gandhi was living in South Africa, he planned the first mass protest against Calabar in this tin building. One day you will tell your little one you saw it standing. while I wait for Mama to come off work. Thanks, but I must go now. I must be at the house. Something's going to be delivered. <laughs> Baji's eye to tease, he said. Either this afternoon or this evening. Somebody's coming. I must be there. Oh, Mama. Be careful.
Ja, Frida, bitte. thing to have on the table where we eat it'll go nicely on the sideboard Enough, you got the Indian troubles on your back. What's the difference, Yusuf? We've all got the same trouble. And no care. Don't tell me that. We don't have to carry passes. Let the blacks make trouble about school on their own. There are millions of them. Let them go ahead with it. We're also black. Of course. You are 15 and you know everything. I must earn the living here. I know that. I'm the one that must get up 4 o'clock in the morning. Charmager. Not so many more to do now. Remember? Oh, oh, before you were born. Before I was married as a young girl. <laughs> oh, come on, my pretty, why not? There was a hole here, like you have in your ears. It's closed up years ago. I want to see you wear it. It's precious. Almost like a diamond. A ruby stone. <laughs> it's only a chip of red glass. I don't care if you wore it. It would look like a real ruby. <laughs> Out of the question. No student comes here to your place. It's simply leading the police to the door. Nobody must come here. Nobody must even know where the stuff is being printed. You must not be put in danger. You and our machine. I've got it all in hand. Distribution points in Deep Soweto. Dubé, Dobsonville. You don't have to worry about Indian schools. I've kept back enough for them. But you mustn't distribute, eh? My son, he's got his team. I can trust him to take care of it all. Uh, what about transport? Bob McGinney's taxi. I don't think so. I'll get Vallabai's dry cleaning back. He'll do it. 
We should co-opt him onto the parents' committee. No, but he'll help behind. He'll be ashamed to refuse me. Oh. Now, what about our leaflet? The parents' committee one we discussed at our last meeting. It's done. I think it should come out the same time as the students' one, if you want them to go on talking to us. Tomorrow? How can we do that? Depends what Mrs. Banji can manage. It should be right away, right away. I can do it tonight. How many copies? I don't know if there's enough paper. Could you get some more? Wonderful woman, really a wonderful woman. Oh, good girl again. It's really a shame if you're tired of Dal Farouk because that's what you're getting. Is that Dr. Abdul Khan? Yes. We had a meeting here instead of at Manjira's place because he's going to have a tooth out. What for? You want to get mixed up with all this burning and stoning and I don't know what. Isn't it enough with the group areas? Isn't it enough we can be thrown out of this place? Any time now. Can be told to pack up and leave. Put out in the streets. I haven't got money to buy a house like Dr. Abdul Khan in Indonesia. Who will make a noise and throw stones at the police when you and your children are without a roof? Are your black friends going to give you a place to sleep? Yusuf, a white government tried to send Gora Dada back to India, although this was the country of his birth, same as theirs. You told me that many times. When they started moving Indians in other towns, you said we should only begin to worry when we get moved out of our own houses here. Nobody's safe. What they do to people in Soweto one year, they will do to us the next. We are black too. You, you encourage it. No respect. One of his loafers throwing stones, burning motor cars. No respect for the fathers anymore. Fatima is no good for your daughter. She must paint her face and cut her hair and call herself girly. Like some cheap white girl from the belly streets. Now you encourage him? Encourage him to join blacks? Hooligans? I make trouble. I can think for myself. I'm the one who decides what I do. I won't lick the feet of the boers to keep a hawker's license and a hovel like this. Do you think the whites don't spit on you? Nimakaram! Jimmy, there's respect in this family. Mean it, Yusuf. And you don't mean it either. You know how well he always does at school. He never neglects his studies. I almost forgot to tell you. Girlie was here this afternoon. 
She says, Mohammed's brothers propose. That's nice, isn't it? His mother will be pleased. She was worried. Why was she worried? Well, she wants to see him settled. The engagement's on Sunday. You better give me your suit to take to the cleaners tomorrow, Yusuf. Ma, I'll have nothing to wear. Perhaps a girl will lend you her pink. She won't be able to get into it now, eh? <laughs> tomorrow, when she's home from work, you run over to her place and say, I say, will she lend it to you? What is colored? Nothing. What is Asian? Nothing. We won't sell black unity for a few handouts. Often because the government wants to divide us by classifying us colored or Asian. Yes. We don't recognize this place, South Africa, with its racist words and laws. Yes. We are going to support our brothers and sisters. Yes. The same education for everybody. Yes. 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 When we leave school, we want to hold on the same jobs as white. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow, we are going to march full strength to Westbury yes. to support yes. our brothers and sisters. Yes. And we are not afraid of what we need. Yes. Many of our brothers and sisters are in jail. I am ready to join them. Oh. Come on, up! Azania! I didn't much because I was afraid I couldn't go near them, but I know that there was a garage, there was no door, and that what really touched me was the little girl of about nine or ten who was there during a school day, and she wasn't at school. Having tea parties with them. Not a thing other Indian women will have in their house. So in stuff, could you put back this button? Yes.
Is that it, Bemji? Hey, how you forbid eating is bloody swell. Now, what do you use this thing for, hey? I'm secretary of several welfare organizations. Welfare? Is that what you call it? Hey, Eddie, come to here. Thank you. Oh, don't take that, please. Mom, what does it mean? Oh, it's for my children. Mom, leave it to every reason. Oh, one please. day you will. Mom, your slippers. Come on, get this. Get your things. I'll give you ten minutes. You're not going to see your wife for a long time, Bamji. You cook your own curry. What 
What am I going to do now? It'll be all right. Girl, he will help. Come on. Get a move on. I want to speak to my husband. Oh, be quick. I'm not mixed on up Sunday. in all this. I'm not taking any messages. Take them on Sunday. The engagement. They mustn't miss it. Mohammed will be offended. She'll be home when we get up tomorrow. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on. Not nice. I don't like it. Thanks, girl, and Mohammed. Have you found out? What? Where they've taken her. What have we done? That your mother must leave us like this? Does she care about the children? Her husband? Blacks, blacks, blacks. That's all she knows. If he won't do anything about it, we will. He'll take off from work tomorrow. And your school?
We have briefed Oswald as her legal representative. They couldn't refuse to reveal her whereabouts to him. Did the lawyer see my mother? Not yet. He's arranging permission for a family visit. When can we go? Only one member of the family. And I don't think it should be you. First of all, I don't think the police will grant you permission to see her. Secondly, I think it'll be unhealthy for you to ask. Uh, Dr. Khan, you know my father couldn't go, ne? He's out with his business every day. How do I get the permit? Oswald will fix that for you. Doch, uh, don't you want a bargain, man? I'm sharing my old deep freeze. Uh, it's good like new. My husband wants to buy me a, a bigger one. I'll give it to you cheap, man. A, a real bargain. City Rams cash. You can put it on your lorry and take it home to your wife now. I have no wife. Curly needs money for the chicken. How much? Twelve lanes, eighty return. It's only 12 and 80. Do you know where is the prison? Ah, there for me. Vast the throne. Ah. Ah, yes, yes. You can see how I am. Eh? You can see what has been done to me. Five children in the house. I'm on the road the whole day. I get home, seven, eight o'clock. No woman there, nothing. What are you to do? What can you do? It's the will of God, Mutadi. I never had a wife like other men. And what about the children? When the police were there, taking her away like a criminal, my wife, the children were all running around. She was running around. A family occasion. Weddings and, and engagements. I don't know for what. She makes such a fuss and preparation to get me to this. She's all right. They're not allowed to have books, you know. She's alone in that, but she's okay. She speaks quite ordinary and everything. They're allowed to meet me. She said I should take her some wool. They'll take it in for her. And soap. I couldn't ask her everything. The police are right there, next to you in the room. She said, tell Jimmy she was talking a long time for the first week. I don't know what she meant. Interrogation. Did you stand up all right? No, man. I told you she's okay. Did you say anything about sleep? Well, Ma, you know, like always. Ma always looks a bit tired. She's okay. Talking a lot. That's torture. Kept her from sleeping. Kept her awake days and nights questioning her. That's torture. Oh, Jimmy, you know horrible things. Is your father here? I don't know. Only yeah. He does come home at lunchtime Saturday, Lee. But he's not here yet. But please come in. Thank you. I'm your mother's friend. The parents' committee. Yes. Oh, yes. I've seen you when you were here with my mother many times, Mrs. Ndao. Uh-huh. 
I've just come to tell your father there's a hunger strike in prison. The women are refusing food. So the food that people like you cook, I don't blame them. Shh. What's happened? Ma won't eat anything. There's a hunger strike. Really, our hearts are with those women. What's the issue? What has happened there? Charge or release. They say either they must be brought to court or they must be let go. Some of them have been there more than three months now. That's it. And you're going to have a backup campaign for this time? Those of us that are still left outside, of course. Until they take us to, we won't keep quiet. Not eating. A hunger strike. Another madness. I don't want to hear anything about it. If she wants to starve herself, she must starve. He is ignorant. A victim of the system. I pity him. We have to re-educate people like that. A slave counting his potatoes. That's ready, that's ready. Did you see Mark? She talked? You said I better go to science school. Thanks. I feel funny sometimes now. So? How was she? All right. Did she look? She says they take glucose and water. You can't live on that. She... Her face. How long can you stay alive without eating? Quite a long time. If you have enough liquid. Gandhi fasted for weeks. Months, Ma told me once. Yes, but he almost died. Ma told me that too, you know. I didn't have food for a whole week. No breakfast. No supper. Nothing. What does it eat in there? <laughs> Uh, eat that. A crowd of blacks. Smash Indian shops and They'll kill us in our beds when their time comes. She'll die there. Blacks will burn and kill us. For what? For what? Who will care about the children? Who? I want to ask that. Not a woman who paints and cuts her hair. Why must I suffer? She'll die there. For what? For what?
My wife isn't here. Do you know that? Don't come to this house. I leave my children alone. You better give me a packet of peppers, eh? I hope they're fresh, eh? Every time I see my girl here, you give her nothing but rubbish. Isn't there? Uh, I think that's a lot. How much is that? Forty-five. One brown, one brown. Hello? What's the matter? Don't you know, Barty? Go, Mama. He must get up in time to catch you this morning. I wanted to be sure he wouldn't be on the track already. I don't know what you're talking about. Many happy returns, Barty. Don't you know it's your birthday? I don't remember these things. First thing she told me when I saw her yesterday. Don't forget, ne? It's Margie's birthday tomorrow. Birthday. Something for the children. Fine birthday. But that's how she is. Whether it's a old cousin or the neighbor's granny. She always remembers her birthday. Of what importance is my birthday when she's sitting there in prison? I don't know how she can do all those terrible things that she does. When her head is always full of women's nonsense, that's what I don't understand with her. Don't you see? It's just that. It's because she doesn't want anybody to be left out, you know. Because she always remembers everything. People with nowhere to live. Hungry kids. Boys with no education. Remembers all the time. That's how my... Nobody else is like that. No. Nobody else. And I've got a present for you. Ma's eating again. The strike's been called off, because two of the women have been charged. I'm getting old. Life. Yeah, take these. Very fresh. Ruby red. Look at the color. You know, I don't know how many years since I've been in a bus. My car broke down today, as I was leaving my house. Trouble. Always trouble. Life is always trouble. Just today, when I'm going to visit my brother-in-law, he's being evicted from his shop. Same thing everywhere. But you've got to know who to deal with. How to go about things, you know? I myself was told three years ago to get out of my place in Hillbrow and my second shop in Jeppy. Men's outfitters, high-class business. But you've got 
got to know how to handle things. No good to panic. There's this government chap in Pretoria. I knew him long time ago. Cost me 3,000 rands. But all right. I still in business, eh? Unfortunately, my brother-in-law, he's not a man of the world. Do you know these people from small towns, how they are? So, of course, they come to me. Hmm? You in business? Fruit and vegetable. Okay. No, I go around. Well, I can see your visit at least. Doesn't mean trouble. These flowers, they're beautiful. When I saw it was you, I thought Gurley must have had the baby. We're only supposed to talk about family matters. Jimmy's all right. I don't know whether I can believe Gurley. He's not where I am. There are some young people. He's all right. He runs the whole house. The children. Fifteen, and he knows everything. It's always hard. There are so many things to talk about. And with people listening, you're always thinking time's going to be up in a minute before you know where to begin. You remember to pay the light and water account? Oh, yes. It's usually under that fancy cigarette box that Auntie Zubi gave us. You know, between Gurley's wedding picture and the Taj Mahal. If they didn't take it away with all that stuff that night, the house must have looked a mess. And you? Are you all right? I'm sorry. You have to think of all these while I sit here. Maybe I'll get out in time to pay myself. A wonderful woman. What? Dr. Khan said that. When did you speak to him? Not now. A long time ago. He was coming out of the house. He has to be encouraging. A way of speaking. They won't take these in. The best pace. Just coming into season. Just this week. Keep back. No contact with the prisoner. I can smell the scent from here. <laughs> 